We have recently built a brand new state-of-the-art 20,000 square foot body shop along with a 2,500 square foot addition to our paint shop. This includes a brand new eco-friendly paint booth that is top of the line. At Batten Stevens, we use the latest and newest technology the industry has to offer. We are your experts on all makes and models of vehicles and are the only Chrysler, Ford, and GM certified collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. Give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate or stop by and visit us in downtown Jewel, Ohio. Batten Stevens Body Body Shop would like to wish all teams good luck this season. Clubhouse Pizza in A is your small town alternative for happy food at a happy place. Featuring one of the area's best pizzas, Clubhouse Pizza in A will not disappoint. Wing Wednesdays, buffets on Thursday, happy hour on Friday. That's just a few of the things. Clubhouse Pizza in A asks for specials. Stop out after the game for amazing food, great drinks, and an awesome atmosphere. Hours of operation are Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Or order some takeout at 419-658-2720. Come by for a visit at 210 East Main Street in a or check them out on facebook at clubhouse pizza in a rachel and jason gilliam and the great staff at clubhouse pizza in a are proud supporters of the rams wooden indian pawn and gun of defiance has been serving northwest ohio for over 30 years need cash collateral pawn loans are available stop in and see Shar and the staff at 5727 state route 66 north in defiance ohio wooden indian pawn and gun carries a full line of new and pre-owned items that include firearms ammo, optics, game systems, knives, jewelry, and Amish Poly furniture. Wooden Indian Pot and Gun has in-house jewelry as well as a gunsmith on site. Hours of operation are Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 5, and Saturday 9 to 3. Got questions? Give them a call 419-784-9880 or visit them online at woodenindianpawn.com or visit their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say go Rams! Back here at Groove Field, still having a little meeting between the umpires, Coach Mag, and Rams coach Brent Renolette. Coach Rudder out there. Everybody's, again, dressed like we're <laughs> getting ready to tee the ball off for the GMC contest <laughs> in the in the fall. But 46 chilly degrees here. We had three home games have been anything but stellar weather-wise. Wind blowing in slightly from center field, about five miles an hour. Set the Rams defense. Shoblin will be on the mound for the Rams. Alec comes in at 4-0. 15 and two-thirds innings pitched. It's allowed five runs, one earned run. Area of .45. Allowed 12 hits, walked six, struck out 13. And his last inning, or his last inning, his last outing on Thursday... Rams defeated Hicksville. Shoblin got the win. Pitched seven innings, allowed two runs. Those were unearned. Five hits, walked one, and struck out seven. Also hit two solo home runs. Stay tuned. We'll have the playing of the National Anthem. No, for a while. Yeah, you yeah, cut the roots off. Yeah, you cut the roots off. Yeah, I do. I'm sick of tired of mowing every Ladies and gentlemen, please there. rise to the playing of our National Anthem. Yeah. 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 of our national anthem here at Groove Field. Turf on the infield here at Tenora High School was installed last fall. Outfield is natural grass, which we saw yesterday. We had a little bit of rain before the game, just enough to 
get the grass and the turf a little bit wet. Saw a couple slips in the outfield and a couple balls that originally would kind of give you a hop, and they basically stayed low and skipped right by the Rams infield. Have you yeah. met your new cousin? <laughs> Again, on the mound for the Rams is Alex Shoblin. Jim last outing versus Hicksville. That was on Thursday here at Group Field. Rams with an 8-2 win. Shoblin, complete game. Two runs, unearned, struck out seven, walked one, allowed just five hits in that victory. And at the plate, had two solo home runs. For the Pilots, they come in at 6-6-1. Six, six and one. They have one tie. That was versus Elida. It was one of those games where it got a little too dark, which we almost experienced at a Fairview a couple weeks ago. First three batters for the Pilots. Abe Delano batting 293. Ben Amoroso and Blake Hornstein. Hornstein, the Pilots quarterback last year. A great job. For Coach Andy Mickey and the pilot football team. Set the Rams defense again. I guess we never said it to begin with. We said we were, then we paused for the national anthem. Shoblin on the mound. Dalton Wolfram behind the plate. Hunter Balsam went at first. Eli Plasman at second base. Caden Radzik is at shortstop. Karen Ward is at third. Rams outfield. Mosier. Aiden Mosier is on left. Grady Gusweiler in center. And Luke Harris back in right field. Rams coming off that 15-1 win last night here versus Montpelier. Broke it open with nine runs in the fourth inning. Dalton Wolfram was your player of the game. Two for three for Dalton. Three RBIs and four steals last night. Shoblin completing his warm-up pitches. Rams back here on Thursday versus Antwerp. Next door, Lady Rams. In action versus Harrisville. Should be a pretty good game over there. Harrisville's coming next door. Lady Pilots win, winners of, I believe, eight straight ball games. Track next door as well. Shoblin. Ready to go. Rams in the black jerseys tonight. Shoblin sets first pitch to Abe Delano. Swung on and missed. Strike one. We are underway here at Groove Field at Tenora High School. First pitch, 458. Temperature, 46 degrees on your David Frank weather forecast. 0-1 pitch outside to the backstop. It goes. Count evens at one ball and one strike. Slight breeze blowing in from center field. Don't forget, buddy. <laughs> Coach Mag coaching at third base for the Pilots. 1-1 one, one pitch to Delano. Swung on, hit by Taron Ward at third into left field for a solid hit. Delano leads off the game for the Pilots with a single. Now batting number one, the left fielder, Ben Amoroso. Amoroso steps in, 154 for Ben, has six RBI on the season. Runner at first, Abe Delano. Junior Amoroso bats from the right side of the plate. Shoblin pitches exclusively from the set position. Gets a sign from Wolfram. Comes set. Looks at the runner. Pitches it. First pitch is swung on. Skied in foul territory. Ward's underneath it in the coach's box. Puts it away for out number one. Karen Ward drifted into foul territory. Coach Mag scooted out of the way. Up to the plate. And Amoroso is retired. F7 or F5 in foul territory. So Blake Hornstein checks in. Blake hitting 400. One home run and 14 RBIs. Also has four stolen bases for the Pilots. First pitch fouled right back. Strike one. Last night we had one fouled back this way. It's stuck in the fence. Which we don't hardly ever see. It stayed stuck in there until one of the boys came in between innings and knocked it down. Delano leads away from first. Alex Shoblin's pitch. Hit right side in foul territory. Bosselman, Plasman, and Harris giving chase. And it lands safely 
out of the reach of all three of them. No balls and two strikes to Blake Hornstein. Weston McGuire is on deck for the Pilots. Shoblin comes set. Looks at the runner. 0-2 pitch to Hornstein. Outside. Ball one. Just underway here at Sonora High School. Rather gloomy day. Our third straight gloomy game here at Sonora. Got spoiled with those 80 degree temperatures on game days a few weeks ago. 1-2 pitch to Hornstein. Little blooper in the right field. That's going to fall in front of Harris for a hit. Holding up at second is Delano. So the Pilots have runners at first and second with one out. Up to the plate, number nine, Weston McGuire. Bring up Weston McGuire, the number four hitter. McGuire playing at third base, 386 on the season, has two home runs and 12 RBI. Also has 10 stolen bases. Like Tenori, you see a lot of these kids. Names sound familiar. Most of them are two, if not three, sport athletes. Harrisville is Division Four. And checking their enrollment, which I like to do. I've been throwing that in every now and then just to get a kind of a size of the schools, which we'll give you after this pitch. Runners lead from first and second. Shoblin comes set. First pitch to McGuire. Outside ball one. Ayersville enrollment is 89 boys and 83 girls. Now in comparison, Tenora, 147 boys and 127 girls. One zero pitch from Shoblin to McGuire. Runners take their lead. Swung on hit, shortstop side. Radzik up with it over the second for the force out. So Hornstein is out number two at second base. Going to third is Delano, and on at first on the fielder's choice is Weston McGuire. Now batting number twelve. Two outs. Carter Michael. We'll bring Carter Michael to the plate. Michael two forty two with eight RBIs on the season. Shoblin comes set. First pitch to Michael. Hit. Shortstop side. Backhanded attempt by Radzik. It goes under his glove. Scoring is Delano for the first hit of the, or the first run of the game. Michael is on at first. And McGuire down to second. Error on Radzik. Had he fielded it cleanly, he would have had the force out at second. Went in the hole, had a backhand, which Caden's done a million times. We've seen him, we've seen him make that play over and over again this year. Unfortunately, just skipped off his glove and went into shallow left field where Radzik chased it down, but not before. Delano scored, giving the Pilots a one nothing lead. Second hit of the inning, or two hits in the inning, first air for the Rams. Runners at first and second for the Pilots. First pitch to Andrew Merrick is called a strike. 125 is the average for Merrick. He has one RBI. Playing in right field for the Pilots. Pitch, tap, foul. Third base side picked up by Dalton Wolfram. Shoblin quickly ahead. No balls and two strikes. Any run hereafter is unearned on Shoblin's record. Came in with an ERA of .45. Sophomore righty pitches on the far first base side of the pitching mound. 0-2 pitch coming to Barrett. Hit first base side. One hopper right in the arms of Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman steps on the bag at first base to retire the Pilots. But not before they send six to the plate here in the first inning. They plate one run. They do so on two hits. One big ram error. And two left on base. After a half inning of play here at Groove Field at Tenora High School, Pilots won, and the Tenora Rams are coming to bat. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. 
Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance wishes all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Back at Groove Field. (laughs) Billy chuckling because who's ever roaring up Blake Honstein, which is not a coach or a player, took one in the shin on the first pitch. So, I mean, that's going to leave a big bruise on that little dude. On the mound for the Pilots is Hallenstein. Comes in with a record of 1-2, and two, ERA of 3.13. He's pitched 22 in the third innings, allowed 23 hits, started five games, or appeared in five games, started four of those, 19 runs, 10 earned runs. He's walked 14, struck out 23. Carter Michael is behind the plate. Trenton Florence is at first. Ryan Mag is at second. Abe Delano is at short. And Weston McGuire is at third. Outfield and left field is Ben Amoroso. And center field is Lucas Fishpaul. And in right is Andrew Barrick. For the Rams, they trail 1-0, which they seem to do anymore. Like, the opposition always seems to score a single run in the first inning. Aiden Mosier will be leading off, followed by Caden Radzik, Dalton Wolfram hitting third, batting fourth is Taryn Ward, batting fifth, Alex Shoblin, batting sixth is Hunter Bosselman, batting seventh, Luke Harris, batting eighth, Eli Plasman, and batting ninth is Grady Gusweiler. Stepping in, sophomore, Aiden Mosier, Mosier, 281 and 10 stolen bases on the season for the Rams. Mosier. Playing very well this season for Coach Renolette. When did you stop coaching? How many years ago? I thought you were still coaching. No. Bonstein's first pitch outside. Ball one. He got, he got too nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't want to coach the Mosier digs back in. Onstein's pitch outside. Two balls and no strikes. First two pitches were in the indication. Onstein, he's going to bring some heat. No, I, I'm shooting the ball with 2 0 pitch to Mosier to the backstop. It goes. Ball three. So I made my first drug bust in school this past or yesterday. Right. So I, I, I work at Defiance High School. Okay. Pilots on top, one nothing. Rams batting here in the bottom of the first inning. Hallenstein's 3-0 to Mosier. Strike oh. called. Hayden oh. Razzik on deck for the Rams here at Tenor High School. Full slate of activities here. Lady Rams softball, baseball, and track. But inside, ball four. Mosier works the walk. He's going to trot down to first base. Bring up Caden Radzik. Radzik, 395 with 12 RBIs on the season. Radzik one for three last night versus Mount Pierre in the Rams win. They off tomorrow, back here Thursday versus Antwerp. Onstein's pitch. Ball one. Spent a little bit low. Mosier leads from first. Onstein from the stretch comes to the plate. Strike called to Caden Radzik. Pilot six six and one one and four in the GMC. Never actually saw if that Wayne Trace and Edgerton game was postponed or not. I don't know if they're it. Way over the head of the catcher to the backstop it goes. Carter Michael chases it down. Mosier down to second base. And it's like uh, one of those pitches in Bull Durham or Major League. Where Harry Doyle says just a bit outside. That was just a bit high. Instead of a wet ball here with rain for the most part, most of the day, just a light rain, nothing heavy, but a little moisture on the ball. And that do wonders for your control. 2 1 pitch. That's low in the dirt. Nice stop by Carter Michael back there. It's 3 and 1 to Caden Radzik. Dalton Wolfram on deck for Tenora. Onstein looks back at the runner Mosier at second. 3-1 pitch to Radzik. Ball four. 
Down the first base goes Caden Radzik. So the Rams, first two batters have reached here in the bottom of the first inning. They trail one to nothing. Ayersville with a run on an air unearned run in the top of the first inning. Dalton Wolfram, 421 for Dalton. Six steals. First pitch is a strike. He had four of those last night. Dalton was our Higby Embroidery player of the game. Actually, as I wrote in the post-game article, actually his most impressive play was his play in right field when he tracked down one in the alley. Swung on and fouled back off of the umpire, and that's going to leave a mark. He is shaking that one like that's going <laughs> to hurt. That's right. That's right. Umpire trying to shake it out. Coach Renolette's down there checking on him. Coach Mag's coming out. And you can tell that look, Emily, they're going to have to track her down. So we may have a little time out here. But instantly you could tell that that hurt the umpire. Pilots on top, one nothing. Rams threatening here have runners. Well, Mosher's down a third, so I don't know if Wolfram swung and missed. Um, more jars, and it came up and yeah. hit the umpire on the backswing. Yeah, yeah. good idea. Yeah, yeah. So Coach Mag going to adhere some first day to the home plate umpire. BR is talking to Coach Rudder. Coach Rudder going to track down Emily. Emily Vomar does a fine job here at Tenora. Coach Rudder could just take care of it himself. <laughs> She's certified in first aid and CPR and everything. So, But the Rams do, I guess, do have runners now at first and third. So they're going to rule that just a swing and a miss. So Mosier is at third. Still curious actually what happened if the backswing caught the umpire, the ball came up and hit the umpire. But Coach Mag's out there. Here comes BR. Coach Rudder's out there. We're gonna take a brief time out and we'll be back after we thank some of our fantastic sponsors here at Sonora Rams Live. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. All right, we're back all set. Coach Mag was out there. I think he was asking the same thing as well, but Mosher is at third. Radzik's at first. Nobody out here in the bottom of the first inning. Rams trail 1-0. Wolfram at the play with a no-ball, two-strike count. Swung on, tapped over the mound. Shortstop. Delano comes on, throws over just in time to nip Dalton Wolfram at first base. Scoring is Aiden Mosier to tie the game at one. So Wolfram gets an RBI on the fielder's choice. Nice play by the shortstop. 6-3 for the first out. Radzik goes down to second. I'm going to bring up Taryn Ward. Ward, 343 with seven runs batted in this season. Radzik leads away from second. Hornstein's pitch a little bit low. Yeah, anything in the dirt now, the umpire is going to be gun shy. He's still trying to shake that thing out. Yeah. Hornstein comes set, looks back at Radzik at second, comes to the plate. That pitch is high. Two balls and no strikes. 
Hornstein, probably mid 80s, I would say, but. Do the first couple batters. This 2 0 pitch coming. Strike called. Has a little bit of trouble with his control early on. Pitch was a strike. Two balls and one strike to Terran Ward. Now it's Shoblin on deck. Austin looks back at the runner. Comes set. Pitch outside corner. Strike two called. Two balls, two strikes to Terran Ward. One out. Rams have tied it at one here in the bottom of the first inning. Have a runner at in scoring position at second. Caden Radzik. Austin sets. Looks back at Radzik at second. Comes to the plate. Swung off. Fouled right back at us. Strong. Count. Holds that. Two balls and two strikes. Thanks for joining us here on Tenor Rams Live on this. Rainy, chilly Tuesday. 2-2 two, two pitch coming. Inside ball three. Count goes full to Terran Ward. Coach Renolette coaching at third. And Coach Anders coaching at first. Hornstein comes set, looks back at Radzik. Payoff pitch coming to Ward. Swung on and miss. Strike three, down goes Ward, second out of the inning. We're going to bring up Alex Shoblin. Shoblin for the Rams, 382. Two home runs with 11 RBIs. Shoblin been one of the hotter hitters for the Rams the last couple weeks. Radzik leads away. Timeout. We're going to have a balk. So Radzik going to go down to third on the balk. I think Hornstein comes set. Yeah, that's what the second base umpire is saying. As soon as he came set, he immediately got into his motion. Has to come set for a split second. Coach Mag doesn't agree with that. He's going to go out and have a conversation with the second base umpire. Coach Mag in the sixth year at Ayersville. 60 wins for Coach Mag. Second baseman Ryan Mag is his son, named after Cub great Ryan Sandberg, actually. No known for quite a few years. When you work at the same place, you run into each other every now and then. Well, did work at the same place, I should say. Hornstein's pitch to Shoblin, a little bit low. Ball one. Light crowd here on this Tuesday. Hornstein winds it up. Pitch inside. Two balls and no strikes to Shoblin. Rams wearing the blacks today with the hunter green and white trim. Hunter green numbers and white trim. Here's Will in the all grays with the Columbia blue. Pitch off the glove. Here comes Radzik. Radzik's going to score on a wild pitch. Plus the second run here in the bottom of the first inning. The Rams take a 2-1 lead over the Pilots. Count to Shoblin is three balls and no strikes. Bornstein winds it up. His 3-0. Inside ball four, Shoblin's going to trot down the first base with a two-out walk to the plate. Will be Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman, the number six hitter, playing at first base for head coach Renolette. Twelve RBIs for Hunter. Hornstein comes set. Pitch straight called. As we said, Hornstein, kind of an imposing figure out there. He's definitely bringing some heat. Just right here in the first inning, doesn't actually have control. Check swings. Right called to Bosselman. No balls and two strikes. Two outs. Rams with two here in the bottom of the first. Grabbed a two to one lead over the Pilots. Hornstein's 0 2 pitch coming to Bosselman. Inside to the backstop it goes. Shoblin goes down to second base. Luke Harris on deck for the Rams. 
Choblin leads away at second. One two pitch coming to Bosselman. Hit second base side. Sandberg bobbles it, scoops it up, throws over high into the dugout. It oh, actually off of the fence in front of the dugout. It goes. Shoblin scores on the air. Bosselman down to second. E4 plates the Rams' third run. Again, it's been wet here. Pick up the ball and Sandberg. I said Sandberg. <laughs> Mag. <laughs> Ryan Mag. Just airmailed over the head of the first baseman, Trenton Florence, into the safety fence in front of the pilot dugout. It's going to bring up Luke Harris. First pitch to Harris as a strike. Yes, right, right, Mag. Oh, one pitch from Hornstein to Harris. Strike called on the outside corner. Harris. Behind no balls and two strikes. Rams do not have a hit in the inning yet. Have plated three runs. Three walks in the inning. An error. And numerous wild pitches. Swung on and missed strike three. Down goes Harris and the Rams, but they do score three runs. They do so without a hit. One official pilot error, and the Rams leave one on base. After one inning of play here at Group Field at Tenora High School, the Tenora Rams three, and the Ayersville Pilots one on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance wishes all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events, broadcast on YouTube, and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Back here at Group Field. Rams have grabbed a 3-1 to one lead as we head to the top of the second inning. For the Pilots, 7-8-9 and nine to face Shoblin, Trenton Florts, Lucas Fishpole, and Ryan Mag. Will face Alex Shoblin. Shoblin threw 14 pitches in the first inning, 11 strikes. Now Blake Hornstein threw 30 pitches, 14 strikes, and three wild pitches. Trenton Florence steps in, 114 for Trenton, two RBI on the season here in 2023 for the Pilots. Florence playing at first base for Coach Mag's Pilots. Shoblin. First pitch is a little bit high. Ball one. Reset the Rams defense for you for those just popping in here a little bit late. <laughs> pitch is high and away. Shoblin. Yes, called. Yeah, it is high and away. Shoblin on the mound. Dalton from behind the plate. Bosselman at first. Plasman at second. Radzik at short. Taron Ward at third. 2-0 pitch to Florence. High. Ball three. Outfield. Mosier in left. Gus Weiler in center. And Luke Harris in right field. 60, 70, or 60, I wish it was 67. 46 degrees at game time. On your David Frank weather. Trenton Florence has worked a four-pitch walk. Trots down the first base. Bring up the number eight hitter, Lucas Fishball. Fishball, 209 with four runs batted in. Pilots as a team batting 235 here in 2023. Pitch is fouled back. Strike one. Day off tomorrow, as we said, we're back here. Another GMC game versus the Antwerp Archers on Thursday, Saturday at Kaleida, weather permitting. Pitches low. Count evens one ball and one strike. Like Sonora, 
Kaleida also has installed the artificial turf. They did theirs a couple years ago. They're redoing their grandstands behind the plate currently. One ball, one strike pitch. Swung on. Foul back. Strike two. One ball and two strikes to the number eight hitter, Lucas Fishball. Ryan Mag on deck for the pilots. That's a good kid. Good kid. Shoblin comes set his one two to Fishball. Low, nice stop by Wolfram. But anyway. Going. Two balls and two strikes. The rain appears to have stopped. I guess it was a light drizzle. Well, we wouldn't call it a rain that we had for a couple hours before the game. Kept checking my phone to see if they were going to postpone it. Anything here, but nope. Pitch hit right back through the box in the center field for a single. Stopping at second is Florence. Fishball is on at first with a single. That's the third hit for the Pilots. So the Pilots trailing 3-1 to one here in the top of the second. Starting to get things rolling with the first two runners have reached. Going to bring up number nine hitter, second baseman Ryan Mag. Mag 226 with three runs batted in here on the season. Mag bats from the left side of the plate. Shoblin comes set. First pitch to Mag. Squares around the bunt. Bunts at third base side. Nice bunt. Shoblin barehands it. Goes to third. Throws it down the line. Florence going to try and score. And he does. Mag's going to try and go to second. And he makes it down there. Pilots get a run. Trenton Florence scores on the air. Second time we've seen a wet ball, I believe, come into play. Shoblin fielded it. Tried to throw to third base at Karen Ward, and it went way over the head of Ward. Fishball is at third. Mag is on at second on the air, air on the pitcher. 3-2. Pilots have got within one. They have runners at second and third with nobody out. Top of the lineup, Abe Delano steps in. He singled and scored in the first. No, thank you. Shoblin's pitch. Drilled. Down the line, just outside. <laughs> Coach Mag's like, oh, shucks. <laughs> Runners will go back to their spots. Mag back to second. Fish Paul back to third. Delano comes back, comes back and grabs the bat. 3-2 here. Rams lead. Pilots threatening to do some damage. Have runners on second and third with nobody out. No balls and one strike to Abe Delano. Delano, the pilot shortstop. Bats from the right side. Off the shin guard of Wolfram it goes. That's going to score Fishpaw. Head first die for Fishpaw. Game's tied at three. Mag trots down to third. One ball and one strike to Delano. And if we've seen anything through the first couple innings here, both pitchers having a little bit of control issues with the damp conditions here at Group Field. Still nobody out. Tied at three. Top of the second. 1-1 one, one pitch to Delano. Inside ball two. Rams infield is back. They're going to give up the run for an out here. Mag leads away at third. Two balls and one strike to Delano. Shoblin's pitch. Hit third base side. Ward has it. He's going to come home in time to get Mag. Nice play by Taryn Ward for out number one to gun down the runners. Mag at the plate. Up to the plate, number one, Ben Amoroso. So Delano is on it first on the fielder's choice. Huge out there. One hopper right to Terran. He fired a strike to Dalton Wolfram to get Mag by about 10 feet. Ben Amoroso steps in. 0 for 1 here tonight. First pitch swung on. Little fly ball in the shallow center field. Gus Weiler comes on, makes the play in shallow right center field for out number two to retire 
Amoroso. Now batting number three, Blake Hornstein. Hornstein steps in. Hornstein on the mound for the Pilots, singled in the first inning. Tied at three here in the top of the second, Pilots batting. With two outs now, runner at first base. Shaolin comes set. First pitch, swung on, hit. Third base side, Ward up with it. Long throw over, in time. Nice play by Taron to retire the side. Two nice plays in the inning by Ward. 5-3 on the putout. Pilots tie the game at three. They do so on one hit. One Ram error. And they leave one after an inning and a half here at Groove Field at Tenora High School. On your drop zone pizza scoreboard, we are tied at three. The law office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Back here at Groove Field, we are tied at three, and it seems to be getting a little bit darker as the game progresses. Over next door at the softball diamond, the Lady Rams and Lady Pilots battling. Lady Rams with a 2-1 lead in the top of the third inning over there. Kylie Zolman has six strikeouts through the first two and the third innings. Kylie Zolman also has an RBI for the Rams. But back here, as I said, we are tied at three for Tenora. Going to send Plasma and Gus Weiler, then the top, and Aiden Mosier to the plate against Blake Hornstein. Hornstein, as long as Shoblin, both struggling with control here early on. Plasma steps in, batting 333. He has five runs batted in. Eli, yesterday, was two for two with three RBIs against Montpelier. First pitch to Eli is inside. Ball one. Got, got married. He just got married. That was the problem. Oh, oh. Sometime, that is, sometime. Okay. Hornstein winds it up. 1-0 to Eli. Ball two outside corner. Give you Hornstein's numbers here. Inside ball three. Hornstein's thrown 32 pitches. Has 14 strikes. 18 balls. 3-0 pitch coming to Plasman. That's low. Ball for Eli. Draws a four-pitch walk. Trots down to first base. Number nine hitter, Grady Gusweiler. Going to check in. 3-20 for Grady. Five runs batted in here in 2023. Grady yesterday just one plate appearance. Had a hit. And scored a run. Inside, ball one. Five straight balls to start the inning by Hornstein. Hornstein came in with 14 walks in 22 and a third innings. That pitch is high, ball two. Time out. Coach Mag going to go out there and talk to his starter. Hornstein. Senior righty Blake Hornstein on the mound for the pilots. Can't actually tell. Just dark here. I don't think it's actually, there's no precipitation <laughs> in the air, but it looks like it could, skies could open up at any time. Battle here. Yeah. Hornstein coming in, the ERA was 3.13, 22 and a third innings pitch. As I said, he had 14 walks and struck 23 out. Just struggling with his control here 
early on. Check swing by Grady. Strike one call. Two balls and one strike to Grady. Bottom of the second inning here. We are tied at three. Slight wind blowing in from center field. Plasman short lead at first. Hornstein comes set. Pitch to Grady is fouled back. Count evens. Two balls and two strikes. Coach Tipton coaching at first base this inning, and as always, BR coaching at third. Three wins away from career win 400 here at Sonora for Coach Renolette. 2 2 pitch. Grady, little shallow fly ball. Center fielder comes in, makes a catch. Lucas Fishpaul. Nice running catch to retire Gusweiler for the first out here. Top of the lineup, Aiden Mosier for Tenora. Mosier walked and scored in the first inning for Tenora. Mosier bats from the left side, plays in a right or left field for the Rams. Hornstein set, looks at Plasma at first. First pitch to Mosier off the glove of Michael, heads to the backstop. Plasman. Stops down at second, so Mosier has a runner in scoring position with one out. Caden Radzik on deck for the Rams. Hornstein looks back at Plasma in a second, comes set. His one ball, no strike pitch to Mosier, squares around the bunt, brings the bat back. Two balls and no strikes. He did not. Third baseman Weston McGuire still about two steps behind the bag. First baseman Trenton Florence takes a couple steps in. He's at the cut of the grass. Pitch is outside. Ball three. Three balls and no strikes to Aiden Mosier. I guess what would be the grass. There's infield here's turf. Outfield is grass, but Florence still in at the cut of the grass where the third baseman McGuire staying put. 3-0 pitch coming from Hornstein to Mosier. Way outside, ball four. Mosier draws a walk. Number 11. Second walk for Mosier. Going to bring up Caden Radzik. Radzik walked and scored on a wild pitch in the first inning. Rams batting here in the bottom of the second. We are tied at three. And definitely not the prettiest of baseball games that we've seen in a while. Hornstein comes set. Runners lead from first and second. First pitch to Radzik is outside. Ball one. Caden, 395 this season. Inside, and he hits him right between the number 11. So Radzik, I'm only laughing because Caden led the team in hit by pitch last year and he's well on his way here in 2023 to do the same so Radzik down to first Mosier goes to second and Plasman down to third bases full of Rams and yesterday's star Dalton Wolfram steps to the plate Dalton was your Higby embroidery player of the game yesterday four steals for Dalton heck of a play in right center and went two for three at the plate Hornstein's first pitch way outside. Michael snags it. Ball one. A few of the Rams, you almost just want to take pitches here. Hornstein's 1 0 pitch way outside. Ball two. For Hornstein, 46 pitches, just 17 strikes. Hornstein's 2-0 to Wolfram inside. I don't know how. I don't, I don't know how it missed him. 3-0. I felt that one up here and it didn't even hit him. Hornstein, no place to put Wolfram. 3-0 pitch outside ball four. Wolfram draws a bases loaded walk. That's going to give him an RBI. Scoring is Plasman. Rams grab a 4-3 lead. Aiden Mosier goes down to third. Caden Razzik goes down to second. And Wolfram is on at first. Still only one out. And Coach Mag is going to take the ball from his senior pitcher, Blake Hornstein. We're going to have a pitching change here in the bottom of the second inning. 4-3 Rams. We'll be back after this timeout. 
Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker offers the area's best pizza, wings, subs, and calzones. In fact, Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted the area's best pizza in 2020 and again for 2022. From pickle pizza to pilot bread to grandma pizza, Drop Zone Pizzeria is always looking outside the pizza box for something special for their fantastic customers. Order by calling in Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or in Stryker at 419-990-2525. Hours of operation close Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday till 9. Drop Zone Pizzeria now with two locations, downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Stop in at the Stryker location for a bite of ice cream. Visit them on Facebook at the Drop Zone Pizzeria where online ordering is available. And remember, the Drop Zone Pizzeria says go Rams. Back to Groove Field. We have a new pitcher. Hornstein exits. We'll give you his numbers here in a second. He heads over to left field. Ben Almoroso heads from left field to center field. Lucas Fishpaul comes in from center field and will take over the pitching duties for Coach Mag and the Pilots. Fishpaul, 3.75 ERA, has a whip of 2.036. Fishpaul, nine in the third innings. He's appeared in four games. He started one. He's won one. He has not lost a game. He's allowed eight hits, six runs, five earned runs. He's walked 11 and struck out six in his nine and a third innings pitch. Bases full of Rams. Karen Ward is going to step in. Fishball throws from the right side. First pitch coming to Ward. Outside, ball one. Fishball, a junior. For Holstein, 49 pitches, just 17 strikes. Pitch outside, corner, strike call. Count evens, one ball and one strike. Two Rams third baseman, Taryn Ward. Fish ball is 1-1. Ward, little blooper into shallow right field, tagging as Mosier. Right fielder catches it out there. Andrew Barrick scoring. The second run of the inning, the fifth run for the Rams, is Aiden Mosier. So Mosier crosses the plate. Ward with an RBI on the sack fly. That's the second out. F9 on the putout. That's going to bring up Alex Shoblin. Runners did not advance at first and second. Fishball comes set. First pitch coming to Shoblin. Is that what you're saying? Low and outside. Ball one. Radzik at second. Dalton Wolfram at first. Rams lead 5-3 here in the bottom of inning number two. Fishball comes set. Looks back at the runner. 1-0 pitch to Shoblin is outside. Two balls and no strikes. Alex 382 is his average. Has two solo home runs with 11 runs batted in. Fishball's 2-0 coming to Shoblin. Just a bit high. Shoblin kind of acted like he wanted to take it the other way, but held back. Three balls and no strikes to Rams pitcher Alex Shoblin. Alec also struggled with his control through the first two innings. Off-speed pitch, strike called. Three balls and one strike to Shoblin. Rams have played a two here on the second to grab a 5-3 lead. Fishball comes set as the rain starts to fall here at Scroob Field. Inside, ball four. So Shoblin trots down to first base. That's going to reload the bases. Radzik goes down to third. Dalton Wolfram checks in at second. Shoblin's on at first. And correct me if I'm wrong, anybody up here, but I don't think the Rams actually have a hit yet. John says no. First pitch to Hunter Bosselman as a strike. Be a perfect opportunity or a perfect spot for a hit right here. Bases full of Rams, two outs. They lead five to nothing. <laughs> pitches fouled back, strike two. Eight walks, says John. Eight walks for pilots pitching through an inning and two thirds. I'm a ball and rolling in the face. Oh my God. No, I don't think that's the case. No, not at all. Not Fish balls ahead of Bossum and no balls and two strikes. He's going to pitch from the windup with the bases loaded. 0 2 pitch. Tap first base side. Florence grabs it. 
beats Bosselman to the bag for out number three. Ramson eight to the plate. They score two runs. They do so without a hit. Pilots do not commit an error, and the Rams leave them loaded after two innings of play here at Groove Field at Tenora High School. It is Tenora 5 and Ayersville 3 on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Fairchild Family Chiropractic is happy to announce that Dr. Kayla is now accepting new patients. Long-term wellness continues to be our goal for families of Northwest Ohio. We help you achieve this goal by working closely with you and personalizing your treatment plan based on your needs. Come see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla at 100 Stadium Drive in Defiance or give them a call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at FairchildFamilyChiro.com. Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla, proud members of the Tenora Athletic Boosters say go Rams. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events broadcast on YouTube and post game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Back here at Groove Field for rain that was supposed to stop at 2 o'clock. It sure is hanging around quite a bit. Rams with five runs on no hits and two errors. The Pilots with three runs, three hits, and one error. For Ayersville, they're going to send up their fourth, fifth, and sixth hitters, Weston McGuire, Carter Michael, and Andrew Barrick to face Alex Shoblin. As we said, Shoblin also struggled a little bit with his control in the second inning. 30 pitches for Shoblin, 19 strikes. It's allowed three hits, three runs, three earned runs, has not recorded a strikeout, and has one walk. McGuire, his first plate appearance, reached on the fielder's choice. Now batting number nine, Weston McGuire. Pittsburgh Zoo, we say hi it's, to you. Got to see Sue stopped in one day last week. I believe it was up here. Chauvin's like first pitch, swung on, drilled to left field. Mosier. Over towards the left field line, puts it away for out number one here in the pilot third inning. Going to bring up Carter Michael. Michael behind the plate, standing in the fifth spot for Coach Mag. Steady rain starting to fall here at Sonora. Started last inning. In wet conditions here for most of the contest. Fouled back. Off of somebody's mask. The umpire already has a swollen right hand. <laughs> He's going to foul ball off his mask just to add a little more insult to injury. Shoblin comes set. Rain's starting to come down a little heavier. You can hear in the crowd mic. And you can probably see, for those of you watching at home... Our window is becoming a little more wet. 0-2 pitch. Swung on. Fly ball. Shallow right field. Plasman going out. Harris coming in. The ball falls. Michael is going to wind up at second base. That's going to be an error. Harris yeah, the boss is should have up. came in and called off Plasman. That's a long, long run out there for second baseman Eli Plasman. Number 14, Andrew Barrett. If they had to do it all over again, Luke <laughs> is going to have to call off Eli on that. So an error for the Rams. Error number three for Tenora. Uh, but I'm with you. I'm not Andrew Barrick's going to step in. Barrick. It wasn't raining at my house when I left. It's kind of off and on. Grounded to the first baseman. Hunter Bosselman unassisted in the first inning. Runner a second with one out. Pitch swung on and missed. Need a squeegee so he can wipe it down the window here. No. <laughs> so he said looking at the radar, it was supposed to stop raining about 2-2-30. Coach Leininger's grandson played for Ohio. Oh, 0-1 pitch. Swung on. Fouled first base side. Just past the pilot dugout. No balls and two strikes to Barrett. Trenton Florence on deck for the Pilots. Bottom or top of inning number three here at Tenora. It's 5-3 Tenora. Rams five runs, no hits. It's rough. It's rough. I don't know what they're going to do. <clears throat> gets the sign from Wolfram. 0-2 coming to Barrick. Swung on and miss. Strike three. Barrick down on strikes. Well, 
We're going to run Let's second. Play. Michael 20, holds there. Going to bring up Trenton Florence. Florence walked and scored in the second inning. Well, it was... It was not Florence bats from the right side. Runner at second. Leads away Carter Michael. Shoblin's pitch way outside to the backstop. It goes down to third. Goes Michael on the wild pitch. Again, yeah, grip well, yeah. is a problem here at Groob Field since the game started. Beverly, yeah, Beverly Hancock watching. Thank you, Beverly, for checking in. And you say... Pittsburgh Sioux, always checking in. Roger Absolutely. will be there. <laughs> we'll be checking in. Not yet. <laughs> Reed Hancock yeah. checking in. Thank you. Shoblin's yeah. no. 1-0. That's a little bit outside. Two balls and no strikes, but thank you all for trying to watch through the raindrops here on our window. Lady Rams softball going on next door. We'll check on that score here in the Jiffy. Swung on and missed. Oh, down somewhere. I think Florence kind of helped Shoblin out on that one. That was up and in. <laughs> Swung on and missed. Two balls and one strike. Two out. Runner at third is Carter Michael. Pitch. Just, oh, he did catch the outside corner. There's a little delayed call there by the home plate umpire. Count is two balls and two strike. Two outs here in the top of the third inning. Shoblin's pitch. Low ball three. That's a full count now to Trenton Florence. Lucas Fishpaul is on deck. Big pitch here for Shoblin. Payoff pitch. Strike. Three called. Florence took that one for a strike. And that ends the inning. In the inning for the Pilots, they threaten. They do not score. Ayersville. In the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. After two and a half innings here at Sonora High School's Group Field, it is five to three Rams on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Okalona Tavern, located in downtown Okalona, is the home of the famous Oki Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy an ice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Okalona Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Okalona Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. BSN Sports, the recognized leader in team athletic gear. BSN forms partnerships with educators, coaches, and students to build school pride, student engagement, and community spirit. Our partnerships give you access to the most brand names in the industry with all of the hottest products at the best prices. From Nike to Wilson to Under Armour, we can customize any team needs. Since 1972, BSN Sports has brought you the brands that make you untouchable on the field, the court, or anywhere else you play your sport. Contact BSN local sports rep Jim Gares for any of your sports needs at 419 419- 576-6894. Back here at Grew Field at Sonora High School. Rams with a 5-3 lead. Pilots, three runs, three hits, one error for the Tenor Rams. Five runs, no hits, and three errors for the Rams. Fishpaul on the mound for the Pilots. We'll set the Pilot defense here. Fishpole on the mound. Michael behind the plate. Florence at first. Mag at second. Delano at short. And McGuire at third. Hallenstein, who started as in left. Amoroso started in left as in center. And Andrew Bart is in right field. Still raining here at Tenora High School. Luke Harris. Eli Plasman and Grady Gusweiler, 7-8-9 to face Lucas Fishball, who came on in relief of Blake Hornstein last inning. First pitch to Harris is outside ball one. Next door, Lady Rams with a 2-1 lead over the Lady Pilots. That game is in the fifth inning already, says Bridget. 1-0 pitch, low one outside. Two balls and no strikes. Okay. Lady Pilots starting to roll here is the perfect time. The softball draws this Sunday, Coach Fairchild said, and the Lady Rams are kicking it into gear. 2-0 pitch to Harris is outside. I guess he was a really good player there, but he, he's rotten, Coach. 
I mean, that's just... That's Lady Rams, one game behind no. Fairview atop the GMC standings. 3-0 pitch, strike Everything. called to Luke Harris. 5-3 here as the Rams bat in the bottom of the third inning at a rainy groove field. Fishball winds it up. Pitch to Harris. Breaking ball. Drilled inside the bag at third. Down the right or the left field line it goes. Harris hits the bag at first. On his way to second. Dives in. Ball saves, sails by the first baseman. Down the right field line. Harris hits third. He's not going to stop. Here he comes. Scores. Luke Harris. With a double. Scores on the air on the right fielder. Again, wet ball here playing havoc with both teams. But yes, Harris smashed it right inside the bag at third. Relay came in and went all the way to the pilot dugout fence. Scoring here, Harris basically, time he hit second base, he turned on the Jets and he was going to score. So the Rams with a 6-3 lead. Bring up Eli Plasman. Plasman takes the first pitch for a ball. But a couple weeks ago, one of our very nice days when we played over at Fairview, when I think it was sunny in 80, which we don't know what that is anymore here at Northwest Ohio. But the Lady Rams lost a heartbreaker to Fairview by a score of one nothing on the run scored on an unearned run in the bottom of the ninth inning on a wild pitch. Get this pitch in here. 2 nothing, or 2-0 pitch to Eli. That is outside ball three. So what do the Lady Rams do? They come over and support the boys after that heartbreaking loss to the Apaches, and they were in full force over there on the first base side. Strike called. Three balls and one strike to Eli Plasman. So give Coach Fairchild and the Lady Rams credit after that uh, tough loss. I mean, they needed that game to, okay. to win the GMC. Plasman drills it. Nice diving stop by the shortstop. Throws it over, not in time. Abe Delano with a fantastic play out there. A short dove, just short of second base. Popped up and threw over to first base, but not in time to get Plasman Eli with an infield single. But back to my story. But... Paige Racisa and Skyly Zolman in a heck of a matchup, but Lady Rams came over to support the boys just after that tough loss. First pitch to Grady Gusweiler is a ball. Grady 0 for 1 flew off the center field his first time up. 320 with five RBIs for Grady on the season. Fish ball comes set to the plate. Pitch is high. Ball 2. Rams lead 6-3 here in the bottom of the third inning from a gloomy Tenorn High School. Crack going on next door to our right. Baseball here. Lady Rams up 2-1 in the fifth inning to our left. Pitch is high. Ball three to Grady. It's one of those days where you want great weather here because you have just a slew of activities. And unfortunately... Did not cooperate. High ball four. Grady draws a four-pitch walk. Plasman goes down to second. Gus Weiler is on at first. Let's we'll check the numbers on Fishpaw. Fishpaw has thrown 24 pitches, 10 of those for strikes. Top of the lineup as Carter Michael goes out to have a brief conversation with Lucas Fishball. Aiden Mosier has walked twice and scored two runs. So Mosier without an official at bat. Fishball gets the sign from Michael comes set. Looks back at the runner a second. Mosier squares around the bunt brings the bat back. Pitch was outside. Ball one. Like the sun almost wants to pop through here, but one oh pitch inside through the legs of Mosher. Nice stop by Michael to save a pitch that was looked like it was ticketed for the backstop. Two balls and no strikes to the Rams leadoff hitter, left fielder, Aiden Mosher. 
Mosier digs in from the left side. Fish Paul's pitch again. Mosier squares around the bump. This one is up and in. Three balls and no strike to Mosier. I'll be I'm going to keep coming again. Fish Paul's 3-0 to Mosier. Bunts, the ball gets away from the catcher, Michael. Runners going to move up anyways on ball four to Mosier. That's going to load him up. Plasman down to third. Gusweiler down to second. And Mosier down to first. Third straight walk for Aiden Mosier. Caden Radzik's going to step in. Radzik walked and scored in the first, was hit by a pitch in the second, hit him right square in the middle of his number 11 black jersey. Fish Paul's pitch to Radzik. Strike called. Rams up 6-3 as they bat here in the bottom of the third inning. Outside, ball one. Count evens, one ball and one strike. Rams finally did get some hits here this inning. Actually had five runs with no hits on the board until this third inning. Double by Harrison, single by Plasman. Shallow fly ball in the left field. That's going to score one. Scoring is Plasman. Everybody else moves up a base. So a bloop single RBI by Caden Radzik. Gives the Rams another run at 7-3. So Grady Gusweiler goes down to third. Stopping at second was Aiden Mosier. And with that RBI single was Caden Radzik. Dalton Wolfram's going to step in with the bases full of Rams with still nobody out. Fish Paul's first pitch. Drilled into center field. Center fielder Holstein falls down. Gets back up. That's going to play two. Gusweiler scores. Here comes Mosier. Dalton Wolfram picks up where he left off yesterday. Two runs batted in. Dalton has four RBIs today. Scoring was Grady Gusweiler. Right behind him was Aiden Mosier. Radzik stopped at second. Rams lead 9-3. Still nobody out here in the bottom of inning number three. Taron Ward steps in. Taron with an RBI sacrifice fly. His last at bat. Fish ball comes set. Pitch is low. Ball one. <laughs> Terran 343 with eight runs batted in this season. 1 0 pitch from Fishpaul to Ward. Swung on, drilled into left field for a hit. Radzik is going to stop at third. BR with the big stop sign says, Hold on, young fellow. Radzik at third. Wolfram, Dalton Wolfram at second, and Ward at first. So, Taryn's on with the single. It's going to finish my story about Taryn. Taryn on the Rams football team had a fantastic senior year this year on the gridiron. Bases full of Rams. Alex Shoblin steps in. First pitch from Fishpaul to Shoblin. He was trying to hit it over the fence in center field. Swung on and missed. Little breeze out there. Flag turned a little bit on that Shoblin swing and miss. 0-1 pissed from Fishpaul to Shoblin inside corner strike two. Fishpaul quickly ahead of Shoblin. No balls and two strikes. Bases still full of Rams. Still nobody out. Rams have scored four here in the bottom of the third. Shoblin fouls it at the plate. Rams have grabbed a 9-3 to three lead. Three runs, three hits, two errors for Ayersville. Nine runs, five hits, and three errors for the Rams. Fishball's going to work out of the windup with the bases loaded. 0-2 pitch to Alec. Low. Nice stop by Michael. Saved a run. One ball and two strikes to Alec Shoblin. Lady Rams and Lady Pilots are tied at two next door. Swung on and missed. Shoblin went fishing. First out of the inning. It's going to bring up Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman, 0 for 2, reached on an error in the first inning. Comes the ninth man to bat this inning. Fish Paul's pitch, outside corner, strike called. Five hits, four runs, four earn runs allowed for Fish Paul. He's walked three, struck out one. 
pitch to Bosselman. There's a ball. Count evens. One ball, one strike, one out. Base is still full of Rams. They have played it four, and they lead nine to three here in the bottom of inning number three from a rainy group field. Pitch is high. Ball two. On deck for the Rams is Luke Harris, who started this mess. Fish balls 2 1. High and away. Ball three. No place to put Bosselman. Goes down, has a quick glance at Coach Renolette, coaching at third base. Says, swing away, fella. Up, catches the outside corner. Count goes full. Three balls and two strikes to Hunter Bossel on the Rams' first baseman. The ninth man to bat here in the third inning. Fish Paul winds it up. Payoff pitch to foul back. Count stays full at three and two. Ward at first. Dalton Wolfram at second. And Caden Radzik at third. Yeah, defiance. Okay. Fish Paul gets the ball, dries it off, gets the sign from Carter Michael, winds it up. 3 2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Down goes Bosselman. Fish Paul struck out two straight Rams. So Harris is going to step in. Luke got the inning started. Laced a double inside the bag at third. Time he reached second, the throw came in and went all the way down the right field line. Harris with a little league home run. Officially, it goes as a double. First pitch to Luke is a strike. 9-3 Rams lead. In a big hit here from Luke Harris to open things up a little more. Fish Paul's pitch. Fouled back. Harris quickly down. No balls and two strikes to Lucas Fishball. Fish Paul winds it up. 0 oh, 2 to Harris. Drilled into left field. That's going to score Radzik. Here comes the throw. Here comes Wolfram. Woo! Dalton dies in. The head first slide. Two run single for Luke Harris. That scored. Radzik, and right behind him was Wolfram. 11-3, Rams lead. Fish balls pitch to Eli Plasman. Fought six runs here in the third for Tenora. Fish ball pitches, catches the outside corner. One ball and one strike to Eli Plasman. Plasman walked and scored in the third and singled and scored earlier this inning. 11th man to bat for the Rams. Did you get me a Three Musketeers bar? Coach Rudder wants a Three Musketeers bar. <laughs> Sounds good. One, one pitch inside to Eli. Most of the time, I just pick up Ned hollering at people, but every now and then you catch Coach down there. <laughs> uh, best wishes to Coach Rudder retiring as of June 30th. 2-1 pitch to Eli. He follows it back. Two balls and two strikes. Two outs. Rams with a six spot to grab an 11-3 lead. Still have runners on base. Harris at first and Ward at second. Count to Plasman is two balls and two strikes. Fish ball comes set. Now steps off. Chases Ward back to second. You ain't no good. Taron leads away. 2-2 pitch to the backstop. It goes off the shin guard of Michael all the way to the first base side of the fence. Ward stops at third. And Harris stops at second. <laughs> Count goes full to Eli Plasman on deck is Grady Gusweiler. Fish ball winds it up. Payoff pitch hit second base side. Mag in front with it, in front of it, throws over to first base just in time to get Plasman for out number three. Four three on the put out. Rams send eleven men to the plate. And they score six runs. They do so on six hits. 
one pilot error and the Rams leave 2-1 base after three innings of play here at Groove Field at Tenora High School. The Tenora Rams 11 and the Ayersville Pilots 3 on your Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and so to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. Back here at Groove Field at Sonora High School. Sonora with an 11-3 lead here. Next door, Lady Rams have taken a 3-2 lead in the bottom of the sixth inning over the Lady Pilots. That's two hot teams right there coming into that game. Lady Rams, I believe, have won seven in a row, and the Pilots had won eight straight. See if I can't bring up the game changer. Anna Frazier started the bottom of the sixth with a... That Double and looks like Marin Pittman had an RBI single to score Anna Frazier. So Lady Rams with a 3 2 lead next door in a big contest for both teams, really, in the GMC. They trail Fairview by one game, at least Tenor does for sure. First pitch is a ball to Fishball. Shoblin winds up and fires. One ball and one strike to the number eight hitter, Lucas Fishpaul, singled and scored in the Pilots' second inning where they scored two runs. Rain seemed to have stopped here at Group Field. Pitch of the ball, two balls and one strike. Shoblin's pitch. Hit shallow right field. Harris out there lands just in foul territory. Three runs, three hits, two errors for the Pilots. For the Rams, 11 runs, six hits, three errors. One in the first, two in the second for Ayersville. Three in the first, two in the second, and six Got it. in the third for the Rams as they sent 11 to the plate. Rams didn't actually get their first hit to the third inning. For Shoblin, while well, we got a second, 43 pitches for Alec. He has 29 strikes on a very damp, rainy Tuesday. Joblin's 2-2 to fish, Paul. That's high and inside. Count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. Joblin's payoff pitch way up and in. Fishpole draws a walk. So the Pilots start with a leadoff walk for Shoblin. Three innings pitch. He's allowed three hits, three runs, two earned runs. Struck out two. And walk two. Number nine hitter Ryan Mag steps in. Mag reached on the error in the second inning. The second baseman for the Pilots. Bats from the left side. Came in batting 226 with three runs batted in. First pitch to Mag is a ball. Timeout on the field. Coach Tipton is going to come out and have a conversation with his sophomore right-hander. Struggling with his control after that dominant performance last Thursday here versus Hicksville. <laughs> Two games coming up for the Rams back here Thursday in the GMC contest versus Antwerp. And Saturday, Rams will travel down to Kaleida and... Take on the Wildcats in a non-league game. Looking 4-2 Lady Rams up. Two runs in the bottom of the six for Coach Fairchild and the Lady Rams. Thank you, Bridget. Here it's 11-3 in the top of the fourth inning. Mag at the plate. One ball and no strike count to him at first base is Lucas Fishpaul. Short lead for Fishpaul. 
Pitch to Mag is up and away. Two balls and no strikes. Top of the lineup, Abe Delano awaits on deck for the Pilots. Shoblin comes set. Pitch to Mag is a little bit high. Well, make an adjust. Three balls and no strikes. Shoblin comes set. There goes the runner. Pitch is a strike. Throw down. Not in time. Oh, he overslid the bag and he's out. We've seen that happen a couple times. If you're not used to the turf and you go sliding on wet turf, it's like sliding on a wet banana. You just go sliding right by the base. So Fish Paul was safe, overslid the bag, and alertly Radzik put the tag on him for out number one. Pitch to Mag is low, ball four, and wouldn't you know it, Ryan Mag trots down the first base with a walk right after Fish Paul got thrown out at second. Going to bring up Abe Delano. Delano singled and scored in the first and reached on a fielder's choice in the second. Runner at first base is Mag. One out. Pilots trail 11 to 3 here in the top of the fourth inning on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. <laughs> Shovelin comes set. First pitch is high and away. Ball one. Little breeze here at Sonora High School. Game time temperature was 46 degrees on your David Frank weather forecast. 1 0 pitch to Delano. That one catches the outside corner for a strike. Pitch with the lead. One ball, one strike to Abe Delano. Came in batting 293. Shoblin sets. Pitch. Hit the same exact spot as the pitch before. This time it's called a ball. Two balls, one strike, one out. Here in the top of the fourth inning. Mag leads away from first. Short lead by Mag. 2-1 pitch to Delano. Swung on. Popped into shallow right field. Plasman goes out. Harris comes in. We saw this movie before. This time, Harris calls off Plasman and makes the catch to retire Delano for out number two. Up to the plate. Number Happened a couple innings ago. Plasman went out. Harris came in. Plasman tried to make an over his shoulder catch. The ball fell off of Plasman's glove. Harris picked it up. This time, Harris called off Eli to much easier play for the right fielder. Ben Amoroso steps in. First pitch to Ben is a strike. 0 for 2 <coughs> here in this contest. Came in batting 154. Mag leads away from first, this time with two outs. Shoblin's pitch catches the outside corner. Strike one or strike two. Amoroso quickly behind. No balls and two strikes. 0 2 pitch. Just a bit outside. Great spot for that. It's a great 0 2 pitch. 6 right 2, there. Lady Rams up. Four runs in the bottom of the six for Tenora. 1 2 pitch from Shoblin outside. Two balls and two strikes, two outs. Here it's 11 3, Rams with a lead as the Pilots bat at the top of the fourth inning. Thanks for joining us here on Tenora Rams Live for those of you watching at home. Breaking ball stays high. <coughs> Amoroso went from being down no balls in two strikes to a full count. Mag will be off with the pitch. Bosselman trots behind Mag. Shoblin comes set. Payoff pitch. Swung on. Little shallow fly ball into left field. Here comes Mosier to put it away to retire Amoroso and the Pilots. In the inning for the Ayersville Pilots, no runs, no hits, no Ram errors, and the Pilots leave one on base after three and a half innings here from Groove Field at Tenora High School. It's 11 to 3 Tenora on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Have your hair and nails gotten out of control over the past few months? Cut and Polish Salon of Defiance is your local salon to get all pampered up. Cut and Polish Salon offers a vast range of quality services, including haircuts, highlights, specialty coloring, waxing, manicures, and pedicures. Please schedule a visit at their fun, relaxing salon where you can be sure that all of your hair and nail needs are a top priority. 
Cut and Polish Hair and Nail Salon is located at 413 Hopkins Street in Defiance. Be sure to book your appointment today by calling 419-576-5087 or do your booking online by visiting their Facebook page. Cut and Polish Salon says, remember, it's all fun and games until someone breaks a nail. Cut and Polish Salon is a proud supporter of Tenora Rams Live. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. To the bottom of the fourth we go here at Tenora High School. Grady Gusweiler steps in, the number nine hitter playing in center field. On the top of the lineup, Aiden Mosier. Gusweiler walked and scored last inning. Those Rams sent 11 to the plate when they scored those six runs on six hits. Fishball winds it up. First pitch to Gusweiler is outside. Ball one. That's why I went to Arizona. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're back, Ray. You're always one. Oh, it's six to two. Pitch to Grady is ball two. Light breeze here at Tenora. Rain has stopped for the time being. Pitch is ball three. Fish Paul on in relief of the starter, Blake Hornstein. Get the final numbers on Hornstein. 3-0 pitch to Grady. Strike called. He pitched an inning and a third. Did not allow a hit. Five runs, four earned runs. Struck out two and walked six. Through 49 pitches, 17 strikes. 3-1 to Grady. Outside corner. Strike two. Just a bit outside, I thought. Fish Paul winds it up. Payoff pitch to Grady. That one's outside ball four. So Grady with a leadoff walk here in the Rams' bottom part of the fourth. They lead 11-3. to three. In a afternoon turned early evening full of rain. Pitch is a strike to the Rams' leadoff hitter, Aiden Mosier. Mosier, three walks and three runs scored. First pitch to him is a strike called. Fish ball comes set. Gusweiler leads away. Pitch is in the dirt. Nice stop there by Carter Michael. Michael? Actually, I may have a new catcher back there. Let me strike to Mosier. Oh, is it? Okay. Fishball comes set. One, two to Mosier. Old tapper, first base side. Fishball up with it. Throws over just in time to get the speedy Mosier. Gus Weiler alertly flies all the way down to third base. Grady hit the bag a second as the throw was in process, and he did not stop. Speedy Gus Weiler all the way to third base on the fielder's choice. So Mosier's out on a nice play by Eric Fishball on that little roller first base side. Popped off the mound, fired down to Florence in time to get Mosier. Caden Radzik steps in. One out now in the Rams inning. First pitch to Radzik is a ball. Caden scored two runs. Pitch way outside. Michael with a backhand to stop to save a run there. Walked and scored a run in the first. Was hit by a pitch in the second. And had an RBI single in the third for the Rams junior shortstop, Caden Radzik. 2-0 pitch from Fishball. Strike called. Fish balls 2 1 pitch to Caden. Is inside ball three. Dalton Wolfram on deck for Tenora. 3 1 pitch from Fish Paul to Radzik. Outside ball four. Down the first base trots Caden Radzik with a one out walk. That's going to put runners at the corners. Gus Weiler at third. Radzik at first. See if Coach Renolet tries to steal a run here, which we saw yesterday several times. Wolfram, probably the hottest hitter for the Rams, steps in. So Dalton 
has four RBI here today. There goes Radzik, no throw. Michael hangs on to the ball. He faked a throw. So Radzik, with a non-contested steal, winds up at second. Well, from one for two, has scored a run and has four runs batted in. There goes the pitch. It's off Michael's glove. First base side, Gus Weiler slides in safely from third base with the run. Moving up to third base is Caden Radzik. That's the 12th run for the Rams. One ball, one strike to Wolfram. One out, runner at third. Fishpaw winds it up. It's 1-1 one, one to Wolfram, leans him back. Two balls and one strike. Fish balls, 2-1 to Dalton. Swung on, driven deep, left field. Left fielder going way back. It's over his head. One hops to wall. Scoring is Radzik. Wolfram in with a stand-up double. Another RBI for Dalton. Right now, there's somebody on the Rams team you don't want to pitch to. It's Dalton Wolfram. 13-3. Rams over the Pilots here in the bottom of inning number four. It's going to bring up Taryn Ward. Fish ball comes set. Pitch to Taryn. Swung on, fouled off first base side. That's going to be out of play. Taryn struck out in the first, had an RBI sacrifice fly in the second, and a single in the third. Taryn, 343 with eight runs batted in. Fish ball comes set. 0-1 pitch coming to Ward. Fouled off first base side in the same exact spot. Maybe just a little bit farther. Foul. So fish ball ahead. No balls and two strikes. Wolfram down at second. Got a good start on another player of the game here today. <laughs> oh, two to Ward. <laughs> to the backstop it goes. Dalton's going to trot down there to the third. Oh, man, I hear you. Oh, good, dude. Yeah. yeah. Rams third baseman, Taron Ward, steps back in with a one ball, two strike count. One out here. Dalton Wolfram at third. The Rams have scored two here in the fourth and lead by 10. Fish Paul's pitch outside. Michael saved another run. You're all right, Lou. Come on, kid. Yeah. Two two pitch from Fishball to Ward. That's outside ball three. Terrence worked the count to full. Three balls and two strikes. Alex Shoplin on deck for Tenora. Lucas Fishball gets the sign, winds it up. Payoff pitch. High ball four. Ward down no ball, no balls and two strikes. Work come all the way back to work a walk. So Terran goes down to first base. That's going to put Ram runners at first and third with one out. Shoblin checks in to the batter's box. Walked and scored in the first. Walked in the second. Struck out his last at bat in the third. Michael comes out. Shouts something. Fishpaw was on the mound. Had to step off. They were going to say watch Terran go into second base. Pitches up and in to Shoblin. One ball and no strikes. I think he was shouting out some instructions to his middle infielders on if Ward dashes down to second base, what they were going to do. Proud of. Yeah. Ward stays put. Pitch to Shoblin is called a strike on the outside corner. The rain looks like it start to fall again. Lady Rams with a 6-2 win next door. Huge win for the Lady Rams. Pitch is outside. Michael slides outside to save another pass ball. Or wild pitch, actually, on a pass ball. Five wild pitches for the pilots here. Shoblin smashes it to the third baseman. Throw way off. Shoblin down at first base. Scoring is Dalton Wolfram with the Rams' 14th run. It's an error on the third baseman. E5. Shoblin reaches first. Taryn Ward hustles all the way over to third base. 
One thing you can say about the Rams, they're going to take every opportunity you give them. It's all Grady Gusweiler do that. Now Taron Ward hustles all the way. As soon as he hit the bag at second, he saw the throw. Taron down to third base he went. So Rams have runners at the corners again with one out. Shoblin at first, Ward at third. Hunter Bossa wanted to play. Again, the Rams have batted around. See, ninth batter to come to the plate this inning. Two balls and no strikes now to Hunter. Hunter reached on the air in the first and struck out his last at bat. He's 0 for 3. 2 0 pitch to Bosselman from Fishball. Check swing, strike called. Two balls, one strike, one out. 14 3 Rams lead here in the bottom of the fourth. Shoblin at first, Ward at third for Tenora. 2 1 pitch to Bosselman. Swung on and missed. Count evens, 2 and 2. Two two pitch swung on and miss. Bosselman goes down swinging for the second straight time. That's the second out of the inning. Going to bring up Luke Harris. So Harris be the eleventh man to bat this inning, or tenth man to bat. The previous inning they sent eleven to the plate and scored six. Here in the fourth, fourth they've sent 10 to the plate and scored three. That one goes to the backstop. Michael chases it down, but not before Taron Ward crosses the plate. Uh, you don't know about that. For run 15 for the Rams. Down to second base goes Alex Shoblin. One ball, no strikes to Rams right fielder Luke Harris. Really? Like Eli Plasman on deck for the Rams. Shoblin leads away a second. Fish Paul's pitch to Harris. Strike called. Count goes to one ball and one strike. Two outs. 15 3. Rams lead here in the bottom of inning number four. Track still in progress. Next door. Harris swings and fouls it out of play. First base side. When ever so slightly blowing in from center field. Yep. And we pick him up. Fishball, two and a third innings, seven hits, ten runs, eight earned runs, struck out three and has walked six so far. He's thrown 92 pitches, 44 strikes. One, two pitch to Harris up and in, two balls and two strikes. Try and go back and give you a little bit of the Lady Rams box score. We get a chance here. Two balls, two strikes to Luke Harris. Two outs. Shoblin leads away at second. Fish Paul comes set. Pitch to Harris is outside. Ball three. Full count pitch coming to Luke Harris. There goes the runner, Shoblin down to third throw. Not in time. Shoblin with the stolen base. And down the first base goes Luke Harris. So Harris with a walk. Going to bring up Eli Plasman. Plasman is step in. Eli scored two runs. Walked in the first and scored. Singled and scored in the third. Grounded out to Maggot second in the fourth. First pitch was a ball. Second pitch. Caught the outside corner for a strike. Shovel in the third. Harris at first. Two outs. Fish ball comes set. Is one one pitch. Outside, another run saving stop by Michael. Zolman with the win. He had 13 strikeouts. Loud. Just two hits and one earned run. Drilled into right center field over the glove of Mag. It goes, scoring a Shoblin. Harris hits the bag a second. He's going to be held up at third by Coach Renolette. Number 25, Grady Gusweiler. So. Eli Plasman with a NARBI single. Scoring. Alex Shoblin. 
16-3, Rams on top as they continue to bat here in the fourth inning. Grady Gusweiler walked and scored in his previous at bat. Check swing inside corner, strike call to Grady. Oh, one pitch from Fishball up and in, leans Grady back. Yeah. One ball and one strike. Yeah. Yesterday, the game was, I believe, just ending at this time, maybe a little before this, actually. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Gus Weiler over the head of Grady. Michael sneaks in behind and snags it. Two balls and one strike to Gus Weiler. Fish Paul back on the mound. Gets the sign from Michael. Looks over at Plasma at first. Comes set. Pitch is outside. Three balls and one strike to Ram center fielder Grady Gusweiler. Up and in, ball four, down to first base. Goes Grady, second time Grady's walked this inning. Or load him up. Plasma goes down to second. Zoe Rostai with another home run for the Rams. I believe that's her second or third on the season. Aiden Mosier was going to step into the batter's box. Going to have a pinch hitter for Aiden. Grabbing a helmet. Down there is Riley Peters. So Peters is going to come to the plate. Peters had a walk and a run scored yesterday in two plate appearances. So Peters grabs a bat. He's going to pinch hit for Aiden Mosier with the Rams leading 16-3 here. Bases full of Rams, two outs. They're still batting in the bottom of the fourth. Fish Paul's pitch is up and in. Ball one to Riley. One zero pitch from Fishball to Pierce swung on and miss. Count evens at one ball and one strike. Pitch is outside. Two balls and one strike to Peters. But Zoe Rostai. Had a heck of a last couple of weeks for Coach Fairchild's Lady Rams. Pitch to Peters up and in. Leans Riley back. Three balls and one strike to Peters. That pitch is outside. Ball four. So Peters gets an RBI as he trots down the first base with the walk. I've been in Scoring was Luke Harris. Plasman goes down to third. Grady Gusswire down to second. Peters on at first. Caden Radzik steps in. First pitch to him is up and in. I'm going to check the pitch count on fish pole, but I still had the leader in box score up. So I'll have to go back to game changer for this game. Pitches outside to Caden. Two balls and no strikes. Two outs. Bases still full of Rams. Fishball's pitch is outside. Michael saves another run. 3 0 to Radzik. Two balls and one strike, says the umpire. Outside, ball three. 3 and 1 to Radzik. I don't. Ratchet scores two runs, has a steal and an RBI. Pitch is a strike. Count goes full to Radzik. Swung on, driven deep foul down the right field line. Fish pole on the mound as the light ring starts to fall. Briggle the runners. Payoff pitch drilled into right field. That's going to score Plasman. That's going to score Gusweiler. The ball gets through 
Coach Renolette says, stay right here, Riley. So Peter stops at third. For Radzik, that's two runs batted in. Or one run batted in. I guess that's one scored. So two, two, yeah, two did score. Two RBI. Scoring was Plasma, and right behind him was Gus Weiler. So Radzik, with a single and an error, goes to second. Ball got by the right fielder, Lake Hornstein. 19-3 Rams lead here. Has runners at second and third. Dalton Wolfram steps in. Wolfram drills it deep left field. Holstein back. Not running catch. Oh, probably the hardest ball Dalton's hit in two days. Final out here. Nice play by Holstein. Finally retires the Rams. Rams score eight runs in the inning. And they do so on one, two, I think three hits. No one pilot error. And the Rams leave two on base. <laughs> Heading to the top of the fifth inning here at Groove Field. Final inning coming up. Rams 19 and the pilots three on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one -on -one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and so to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. Wholesale changes for the Rams as the pilots come to bat here. Just going to reset the entire defense. Shoblin's still on the mound. Wolfram's still behind the plate. Trent Wimpkin comes in to play at first base. Second base is still Plasman. Shortstop is still Radzik. Third base is now B.J. Morlock. And left field is Riley Peters. Center field is still Grady. And Connor Wolfram comes in to play in right field. Final from the varsity girls game was 6-2. to two. Lady Rams with four in the bottom of the sixth inning to break a 2-2 tie. Track next door. Try and find the results on that later. It's either on Baum's page or sometimes they do their own scoring next door at the track and field. But there's several teams over there, so it may be on Baum's page. I'm not sure. Top of the fifth inning, Hans, Dean, McGuire, and Michael to bat against Alex Shoblin. First pitch by Shoblin. Up and in. Ball one. <laughs> Nothing. Kevin. Chaplin's pitched four innings, allowed three hits, three runs, two earned runs. He struck out two and walked three. He's got 64 pitches, 37 strikes, two wild pitches. Strike one ball and one strike to Blake Hornstein. Hornstein is one for two, singled in the first. Chaplin comes set. His pitch is outside ball two. Chaplin pitches exclusively from the set position. 2-1 pitch. That's high and away. Ball, th ball three. Three balls and one strike. Right. It's 19-3. The last thing Coach Renolette wants to do is see your starting pitcher mount up pitches by missing the strike zone. <laughs> Activity in the Rams bullpen down there. Pitches hammered right at the third baseman. Morlocks nags it for out number one on a hard liner into the glove of Rams' new third baseman, B.J. Morlock. No. <laughs> Weston McGuire, as Coach Renolette comes out, Shoblin pointing towards his hand like he may have a blister. I just laughed at you because you, what do you, mean you laughed at me. <laughs> so, Coach Renolette heads back to the dugout. And he's going to stick with his righty. 
One out, nobody on. 19-3, Rams lead here in the top of the fifth inning. This will be the final inning unless the pilots mount a rally. So at least six runs to tie the game. First pitch is a ball to Weston McGuire. Carter Michael on deck for the pilots. Pitch is outside, ball two. Oh, you're great. No, you're crazy. Thank you. 2-0 pitch. Swung on, driven to left field. Peters back there to snag it. Out number two. F7 on the put out. Carter Michael going to step in. Last chance for the pilots. Trailing 19 to 3 here in the fifth. Stay tuned. Bidlack Insurance and Investments post game show. We're about to sort through the stats to get your Higby Embroidery player of the game. First pitch is a ball to Carter Michael. Ball two. Really? Choblin's 2-0, up and in, ball three. We're not going to give it away. But your player of the game could be a repeat performer. 3-0 <laughs> pitch, breaking ball stays high, ball four. Carter Michael works a two-out walk. But as we said, Dalton Wolfram, probably the hottest hitter for the Rams in the last week. Five RBIs for Dalton. He was... Four at bats, had two hits, scored two runs, threw a walk. They don't know it, you know. And then there's one in between. Throw down to first base, trying to catch the runner sleeping. Hey, way out. Back is Michael. Pitch was a ball to Andrew Barrick. Outside ball two. Shalin losing control here again. Can't tell who's throwing down there in the Rams bullpen. Might be Hunter Bosselman. Ball three. Hunter looks like he's ready to go. And another ball here. And I think we'll probably see Bosselman to get the final out here. Nickers now be a nice guy. Choplin's 3 0. Catches the outside corner. Kind of like he was just throwing darts on that one. He just threw it up there. Three balls and one strike to Barrick. Check swing. Umpire says he went around. Count goes full. Three and two. Final strike for the Pilots coming up. They trail 19 to three as they bat here in the top of the fifth. Shoblin from the stretch. There goes the runner. Shoblin steps off. Nobody covered. They're just going to let the... Not that the Rams defense fell asleep, but they just kind of let Michael head down there to second. So the number six hitter, right fielder, Andrew Barrick, steps back in. Shoplin's pitch. Swung on and missed. A oh, fouled off. So the pilots stay alive. Shoplin gets the set. Comes pitch. Shallow fly ball. Radzik goes out. Puts it away. Right in front of Gus Weiler in center for the final out. F6 on the final put out. For the pilots here in the fifth, no runs, no hits, no Ram errors, and one left on base. Final from Tenora, the Rams 19, and the pilots 3. Rams pick up win number 10. They go to 10 and 3. They go to 4 and 2 in the GMC. The pilots fall to 6, 7, and 1. They fall to 1 and 5 in the GMC. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, going to have your post game show by Bidlack Insurance and Investments. 
Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. Back at Tenora High School, Rams pick up win number 10, a 19-3 victory over the pilots win goes to alex shoblin that's his fifth win improves to five and oh loss goes to blake hornstein he falls to one and three time of the game was just a shade under two hours 46 degrees at game time and a very wet and damp, pretty much miserable day here at Tenor High School's group field for everybody on the field and everybody in the stands. Welcome to the Bidlack Insurance on the Best of Post Game Show. Pilots actually got on the board first with a single run in the first inning. Rams answered with three to take a 3-1 lead. Pilots came back with two in the third to tie it at three. Rams answered with two in the bottom of the second to take a 5-3 to three lead. Tenora broke it open with six runs in the sixth and then eight runs in the fourth. Rams scored 14 runs combined in the third and the fourth inning. Rams had five runs in the first two innings and actually didn't get their first hit until the third inning. Three runs, three hits, five errors for the Pilots. 19 runs, nine hits, and three errors for the Tenora Rams. See everybody Thursday when the a lot different than uh, Antwerp Archers come and visit for a GMC contest. But don't go anywhere. Coming up, we're going to have the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award, and we're going to think this one's over, think this over, and we'll see what we come up with. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Higby Embroidery Player of the Game coming right up. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much, much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery also offers custom artwork if it is needed to complete your project. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street right here in Defiance, Ohio. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. If you are looking for a customizable item, Higby Embroidery is your place. Higby Embroidery, a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Back here at Groove Field, Rams pick up a 19-3 GMC victory. Tenora goes to 10-3 overall and 4-2 and in the GMC. And I never did actually check to see if Edgerton and Wayne Trace got their game in over at Edgerton. It was a showdown for the GMC first place over at Edgerton where the 5-0 Wayne Trace Raiders were to travel over to Edgerton to take on the 4-1 one one more. <laughs> Bulldogs. But back here, welcome to the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award. And for the first time in quite a while, we're going to have back-to-back winners. There's nobody hotter right now in the Rams lineup than Dalton Wolfram. Dalton with five more RBIs tonight. So you might want to wait. Wolfram had five plate appearances, had a walk, scored two runs, and had two hits. Those five RBIs, and we said a walk for Dalton. So your player of the game, back-to-back winner, will go to Rams catcher Dalton Wolfram. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We appreciate you for joining us, as always. Later, Rams victorious, 6-2, to two, to pick up a big GMC win for them. Thanks to our sponsors, as always. BSN Sports, Weber Bookkeeping, Maumee Valley Title Agency, Clubhouse Pizza and Nay, Fairchild Family Chiropractic, Optimal Performance and Fitness, Drop Zone Pizzeria in Stryker and Ayersville, Higby Embroidery, Signs Excavating, Firestone Tavern, 
Oklahoma Tavern, Northwest Ohio Sports, Matt and Stevens Body Shop, who does a fantastic job sponsoring our video, Thor Rams Athletic Boosters, Cut and Polished Hair Nail Salon, Wooden Indian Pawn Shop, Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, Wiener Hill, Weber and Stanley, Attorneys at Law, Postuma Insurance and Investments, and finally, Mayfield Engineer Corporation. Start your MET career today. Get a $1,000 sign-on bonus. You can go to metcareers.com or go down to the 21 Street Seneca Lobby, and you can fill out an application today to get your MET career started. Again, final, Rams 19-3. Pick up win number 10. We'll see everybody Thursday here when the Rams take on the Antwerp Archers. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for listening to this exclusive presentation of Tenora Rams Sports. Be sure to tune in next time when we bring you more Rams action and follow us online at TenoraRamsSportsAudio.com or on Twitter at Tenora Rams Audio.